NOAA has issued a G4 geomagnetic storm watch, the first watch in about 20 years. This comes after the sun launched solar material towards Earth this week. Now to help explain what this means for us and some of the possible consequences of such a storm, we have Katrina Bossert, an assistant professor in the School of Earth and Space Exploration at ASU here with us. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Yeah. Right. So the first, uh, the first question I want to ask you is what exactly is a geomagnetic storm? Well, a geomagnetic storm happens when the Earth's magnetic field gets displaced. And uh, you, you can end up with, with um, these magnetic field lines causing material to be thrown towards the Earth's atmosphere. Um, and this, this, uh, when we get into the storm time, this can extend very far southward to, to, to middle latitudes. Um, so it's, it's possible to see aurora at, at um, lower latitudes than just the polar region. I was going to ask you, so it is possible we could see something here in Arizona. I have heard the further north you go, the better, but you're saying maybe we could get a view here in Arizona. Yes. Well, what I'd suggest for people in Arizona is that, you know, the aurora take place pretty high in the sky. Um, the red aurora take place near 250 kilometers in altitude. So, you know, even if they're not taking place overhead, um, if you look to the north, you might be able to see um, some red aurora on the horizon. If it's really strong, you may be able to see some green aurora on the horizon. So just look for a dark area um, and, and look towards the north and, and uh, you know, you might get lucky. So I did some reading on this and I saw an article that says sometimes events like this can affect the power grid. Does that ever happen with something like this? Um, yes, it, it can certainly happen. Um, it's been known to happen more uh, uh, in, in uh, nor northern latitudes. Um, you know, it, it may not be strong enough to, to have any influence down here in Arizona, but it's, it's certainly um, something to, to, to look out for. And are there any good websites or resources that you suggest that people can kind of follow along over the next couple nights? Yes, absolutely. I would I would very much suggest uh, checking out the the NOAA N O A A Space Weather Prediction Center. Um, and and uh, if you go to their website, you can follow along with what's going on and, and follow along with the storm updates. Well, Professor Bosser, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. All right, back to you. All right, Pete.